Yes, you went. And to Darth Vader. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> you have a chance yourself to go into these schools and talk to some of these young people. Peculiar, isn't it? Because like, I think I was about nine. Like, why was I even aware of sexuality and back arching and stuff like that? Because it turns out I've grown up to be a marvellous lover. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sometimes I think an unusual thought while it's happening. So then, like later on, I'll take a see the thought. There's a lot of scandalous content on this particular DVD. Yeah, so I talk about the infamous Manuel Gate scandal of last year, talk about the VMAs, some other material that's quite contentious, which I think when the DVD comes out will might possibly cause yet more scandal. Um, but I'm very pleased with it and very happy with it. It's funny. I would have done nothing differently. I think it worked out really well. I'm really happy with what I'm doing now. I'm happy with my personal life. I'm happy with my professional life. I apologise for the thing that I did wrong to the person I did it wrong to. The whole subsequent scandal, as brilliantly outlined in this product, <laughs> was funny. It was funny. You know, I think it's just rhubarb. It was just rhubarb and guff. Because my comedy now is all about sort of domesticity and looking after cats and burglar <laughs> alarms and all cleaning your teeth together. When it's about roaring through the London streets with razor blades and ticker tape and glitter all over your tongue. <laughs> I think the romantic element of this movie is fantastic, but also the crazy, bizarre element, and I've experienced both of those things in my own life. The romantic element I keep private because it's between me and my lovely wife. The crazy element, well, you've seen my books, waking up in rooms full of refugees, hanging off of boats, arrested in crack houses. I had a ridiculous life. Thank you. 